Yo, what's up guys, it's Lucy back at again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to the Cold War multiplayer reveal. And uh, yeah, pause the live stream, it's going on right now, so I can uh, react to it. I don't know what to expect, let's just hope it's better than Modern Warfare. I'm not going to keep you guys holding or waiting too long, so I'm just going to get into it. I'm probably going to watch through it one time, then rewind back and then react to it a second time, so uh, let's just get into that. Ah, see M16. Threat neutralized. You're here because you're the best special force. I think that was the uh, Galil. We're all that keeps the world from turning to cinders, comrades. We work off the books. Operate in the shadows. To keep the Uzi. Today we reshape the world. What the fuck are we doing? Them come. Oh, that must be the grenade launcher score streak. All right, I'm about to start it over and react to it now. Pre-order digital copy and get early access to the open beta and instant access to the Woods Operator Pack in Modern Warfare and Warzone. All right, started it over. Right off the bat, you already see M16. Threat neutralized. Uzi and the other guy's hand in the background. I can't tell if that's the Galil or not. It kind of looks like it. That was that one LMG off of Black Ops 1 it kind of looked like. We work off the books. Operate in the shadows. To keep the wolves at bay. AK. Reshape the world. That was the, the 1911, I think. All this uh, one LMG, I can't remember the name. The grenade launcher, that's probably the kill streak or the score streak grenade launcher that they're talking about instead of making specialists. Now I see boats and helicopters, bro. This is just better. Like, then I saw like grenades and stuff. So I'm hoping this is the ground war game mode, to be honest. That's, um. Is that the commando with the reflex on, I think? That's that one shotgun from BO1 that had the flame rounds. I think it had flame rounds. 
Then you saw this. That's the PDW right there in his hands. Showing a little bit of gameplay of the PDW. Uh, well, not the PDW. Uh, what was it called? Uh, was it the P? The PDW? I think it was called the PDW. I don't know what it was called. The LMG from BO1. That was on Zombies. Well, I'm seeing vehicles. I'm kind of just hoping that this is ground war because they did say they were bringing ground war to the game. Because I see tanks too, bro. And I, that's the whole reason I didn't really like ground war was because the tanks. All people did was sit on mountains and camp with them. It was like impossible to get a streak when everyone just camped in tanks. And people sat on mountains with snipers. Alright, but Ground War, it did, I mean, not Ground War, uh, Miami, it didn't look that bad, actually. That looked like the only map that I didn't see vehicles on, so I couldn't tell if that was just multiplayer, or if the other ones were Ground War, that was the only normal 6 v 6 it showed, or what. But, I don't know, man. I'm getting, like, iffy vibes, because I do not want vehicles in 6 v 6 it would be legit if they had like a 10v10 type thing and then like a ground war 20v20 or something. And they had vehicles only in 20v20. I ain't got no beef with that. Well, I'm one kill off a nuke and get hit by a tank. That happened to me so many times in Modern Warfare, which is why I didn't play any ground war map besides Palace. Because that was the only map that I didn't get hit by a tank with. But I don't know, man. It's like good vibes and iffy vibes at the same time. Uh, it's just the gameplay will tell, and everyone else got early access to the gameplay, so I'm probably about to look at that, uh, while in the middle of editing this. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to stop on the post notifications so you don't miss the latest and videos, and I'll see you later, guys. Peace.